Before we start, let us consider how we can solve this question. We can convert cos squared x to its linear form using the equation cos squared theta equals 1 plus cos 2 theta over 2. After that, we can remove the brackets and get the result half times within bracket x plus x cos 2x. Since x equals x to the power of 1, we can integrate x as x squared over 2. To simplify x cos 2x, we can use the integration by parts method. Clear? Let's jump into the question. Cos squared theta value we can write as 1 plus cos 2 theta over 2. Using this equation, we can write cos squared x value as 1 plus cos 2x over 2. Denominator value 2 is a constant. So, we can bring this denominator 2 value outside of the integral. Then we have half times integral x within bracket 1 plus cos 2x. Now we can remove the brackets. Then we have integral x plus x cos 2x. Then we can consider integral sign separately. Integral x plus integral x cos 2x. Integral x value we can write as x squared over 2. To simplify integral x cos 2x value, we can use the integration by parts method. Integral cos 2x value we can write as sin 2x over 2. Then we can write simple x term as it is. Minus integral sin 2x over 2 times differentiation of the x value. Differentiation of the x value equals 1. Denominator value 2 is a constant. So, we can bring this 2 value outside of the integral. Then we need to get integral sin 2x value. Integral sin 2x we can write as minus cos 2x over 2. Finally, we need to substitute upper and lower limit for these answers. First one sin 2x over 2 times x. Upper limit pi over 2 minus lower limit 0. Second one minus cos 2x over 2 upper limit pi over 2 minus lower limit 0. Then we have sin pi over 2 minus sin 0 over 2 minus half times within bracket minus cos pi over 2 minus minus cos 0 over 2. Sin pi equals 0. Sin 0 equals 0. Cos pi equals minus 1. Cos 0 equals 1. So, we can write 0 over 2 minus 0 over 2 minus half within bracket minus times minus 1 over 2 minus minus 1 over 2. Then we can simplify and get the result minus half. Now we can substitute upper and lower limit for x squared over 2 value. First one upper limit pi over 2 minus lower limit 0. Pi over 2 perfect squared value equals 5 squared over 4. 5 squared over 4 divided by 2 value equals 5 squared over 8. 0 squared equals 0. Now we can remove the brackets and get the final answer 5 squared over 16 minus 1 over 4.